Hello, and thank you so much for coming back for this conversation, and welcome to all my new subscribers. It's great to see you again. And if you are new and haven't uh, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you come along with us on this journey. Today I'm going to be talking all about skincare. What oils and serums that I use on a regular basis and that I think are the best. At least they are for me and I think you're going to like them too. A light exists in spring not present on the year at any other period. When March is scarcely here, a color stands abroad on solitary fields. That science cannot overtake, but human nature feels. Emily Dickinson. Hello and welcome again. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers. Today I'm going to be talking about oils and serums. I've had so many of you ask me what type of oils and serums that I use on my face, so I thought today might be a good time to really talk about that. And if you have watched me long enough, you know that less is more <laughs> is everything that I think in my life. The older I get, the less I want to pamper myself the less I really want to be spending time doing things that are taking away from my life, actually. I have been a skincare advocate. My mother taught me. I watched her use products. And even my grandmother, a long time ago, the things that she used to use. I know that I have to do skincare twice a day because that's exactly what helps me feel good and that is what my skin loves and if my skin is happy then I am happy. I have pared it down to actually with my oils and serums just four different products that I'm going to share with you today. Two of them are oils and one of them is a serum and one of them is a cleanser. Now those of you who have watched me know that I do not use water on my face. My face gets wet when I take a shower, but as far as cleansing, I always use a some type of cleansing oil because my mother always told me that that your skin, you strip the acid mantle from your skin when you use water. But if you use water, that is fine. I'm not saying not to. This is just a personal preference of mine. I don't use water on my face. I always use a cleansing oil when I wash my face or clean my face. If I have heavy makeup on, then I'll use something like Albaline and that is really heavy and gets off the makeup. And then I will do it again and I will cleanse my face with a cleansing oil to get be sure that my skin is really clean. The products that I use, I'm going to show you right now, and I'm going to put the ingredients up on the screen so that you can see. This is an oil that I absolutely love. I found it because initially it was sent to me, and they gave me a discount code, which I'll put down below. But I have reordered this about three different times because I think it's been about three years since I have been using this, and I love it. And you can see the wonderful ingredients there on the screen. I can put it on and then wipe it off, but if you do use water, you can even put this on, use a tiny bit of water or a moist washcloth and wipe it off your face. So this is exactly how I cleanse my face twice a day with these Kui Nourishing Cleansing Oil. Now, when I learned about skincare years ago. I always was told that you put the lightest thing on first and the heaviest product on last and you last and you wait a little bit in between. Well, I used to use every single day the L'Occitane Immortal Divine Oil. 
I love this. I still love it. But since two other products have come into my life, I do this every other day instead of every day. Now, it has wonderful ingredients in it, and I'm going to put it, them up on the screen right now for you to look at. But this product really has been good as far as nourishing and hydrating my skin. I love the L'Occitane line. I love all of it. I love their fragrances. And I just love everything. They even have a wonderful Divine Cream that's very good. But at the present time, I'm not using that cream. But it is also good. So this is a good product. And as you know, or you may not know, I am a Boom Ambassador. And when I was an ambassador, they sent me some products to try. And they never used to have really serums or oils in their line. But they have come up with the most nourishing and hydrating products that I have ever used in my life. And I have ordered them on my own because I absolutely love them. This one I haven't had to order yet because it has lasted me a long time. Would you believe in this tiny little jar? So I use the Boom Gold Oil. All of the products in this little tiny bottle I'll put up right now. They're, everything is absolutely organic. And the, if you like fragrances, a natural fragrance that is so divine, I could use this as perfume if I wanted to. It's just sort of like a sandalwood. I don't know. It's a great, great fragrance. There's something in here that I absolutely love. And then the uh, Boom Nectar, which is the serum. And I'm putting up the ingredients right now on the screen that you can see. Every single one, you can see all those ingredients. Every single one of those ingredients is from Hawaii and they're all natural organic ingredients. If you know me, you know that I do not promote products. That's just not my MO. I'm not criticizing any of my fellow creators who do, but I usually don't. It has to be really, really super good for me to be able to recommend it to recommend to you because I don't like to be pushed things that I don't like but these products once I started using them I will never ever go back and because of these two products I have switched them out because this is very light this oil is very light and the serum is very heavy now when I use these two products I have switched what I do completely I, after I cleanse my face, I use my oil first because the Boom Gold is very light. Just one tiny drop does it. After I cleanse my face, I put a tiny drop of the Boom Gold on. I let it sink in. Then I put on my moisturizer. And the third step is I put on my Boom Nectar. This is the last step that I do. Then after that, if I'm going out of the house, of course, I will put on sunscreen and I'll use a, another moisturizing product in between this. But I'm just today I'm talking about serums and oils. So those are the four products that I use. I alternate the two oils and I use the serum twice a day. I use the two oils twice a day, alternating them. And, um, of course, I cleanse my face with the cleansing oil. I'm just talking about oils today, so I'm, I'm not getting into sunscreen, which you know you should use always. If Whatever I do, I always put on sunscreen. I don't wear foundation that often, but sunscreen is a no-brainer, and it's, it's a non-negotiable thing that I do on a regular basis. I know that these products seem to be pricey, but the fact that the gold has lasted me a half a bottle in a year and that a whole bottle of the nectar has lasted me a full year and the L'Occitane has lasted me a little over a year. I figure that I spend a little over $15 a month on skincare. And to me, that's doable. But when you price it out and say, oh, that is so expensive, it is. It really is. But it just depends on where your priorities are and where you want to 
put your money. And I have decided I'd rather spend about $15 a month on my skin care because it makes me feel good and I know it makes my skin happy. So there it is. Thank you so much for asking what type of oils and serum I think are best. At least these are best for me. And I have put links below for discounts on all of these products except the L'Occitane one. I don't have a discount for that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you really do something wonderful for yourself today and wonderful for your skin. Be kind to whomever crosses your path and of course to share the love. Thank you so very much. I, I am so over the moon about all the comments and the wonderful comments that I read every single time. Have a great week and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.